Zonzo is an Italian word that roughly translates to wonder. This word is at the core of our project as we shed light on the passion-driven young hot air balloonists that make up our team. We will be sharing stories, emotions and challenges that we face as we wander, take flight and compete in awe-inspiring locations around Europe. My name is Patterson Saunders and I'm leading this expedition. For me, this journey began a month ago in Poland. Setting my sights on Western Europe, I've been driving long hours, competing and training for numerous competitions and flying in some challenging, beautiful places along the way. More recently, our 1992 Isuzu Trooper has decided that enough was enough and it sold its soul to a Spanish mechanic. Armed with a new and improved driving machine and my whole team down here in Barcelona, we look forward to bringing you on our journey as there's plenty more to come. We're here at the Pyrenees Mountains, a truly beautiful location to do ballooning. We are here in a valley called La Sardania, and it's a beautiful place to fly. It's the border of France and Spain. We're on the Spanish side, which is the Catalonia side, and uh, it's been a truly beautiful morning. send a balloon quickly it starts to come out of shape and that's because the air inside is, is, is pretty much cold and so it's called the terminal descent you're going down as fast as the balloon will let you and uh, as you go down uh, you hit different layers of wind uh, and it's called wind shear and the wind is basically pushing into the side of the balloon and, uh, and, and caves it in a bit it's, uh, it's a little scary. For a bunch of impatient millennials, having an extended stay on the Iberian Peninsula without a vehicle proved a challenge in itself. Eager to resume our adventures, we finally made it across the border with our sights set on the Czech Republic. Our resurrected vehicle was soon to be challenged as we quickly lost power steering and shredded a tire as we drove through the night. Our first call of order as we arrived in Beno was to visit the world-class Kubitschek Balloon Factory and pick up our second racing balloon that will be piloted by my brother Eddie. Welcome to Kubitschek Balloons. This is a uh, other balloon factory uh, located in Brno, Czech Republic. We are specializing in, in building of other balloons of any size. We are able to build basically any equipment what anybody may need for flying a balloon. I have to appreciate Ed's and Pat's uh, bravery how brave they are to order a balloon from a small strange country from the other side of the planet. So I'm very appreciate their trust and I'm sure they will enjoy the perfect uh, Zonzo Razor. Pretty exciting morning this morning. Uh, first flight with the Zonzo Racer, so we're pretty excited to get that out of the bag and see how it looks. Um, We've got Mia over here, we got the rest of the team. Pato's arrived last night. Uh, but yeah, we're, our plan is this morning is to fly to the Kubitschek Castle, land somewhere around there um, in Radisson. So we're in and it's beautiful countryside, perfect for ballooning and uh, yeah, can't wait to get this thing in the air.
With the launch of the new Zonzo Balloon a success, we hightailed it over to the Czech National Championships to iron out some creases and get back into the competition mindset. So competition ballooning is all about uh, accuracy and precision and flying to targets. And so we've just declared a goal on our computer and it's just down here uh, in this little island of water. We're trying to fly over the corner of this little white car. And, uh, and so we're up high where we're heading to the right of the target and as we come down, we're gonna turn left. And the idea is to time your descent so you can come down and fly straight over the middle of it. And we've got two really good layers of, of, of steerage where basically one is, is pushing us out towards these hills uh, and the other one is, is pushing us down this valley. And so you can use that to zigzag your way towards the targets. And uh, there's a number of balloons here today uh, and they're all going up and down very quickly uh, trying to steer themselves uh, as accurately as possible. We're just readjusting. Now we want to rip down and try and get over the, this little tree here nice and low. So we've done a big vent and uh, our target's just in here where this train is, uh, is about to pass. Nationals for us was full of surprises. With two of our team members coming down sick at the start of the competition, our undermanned squad faced an array of challenges. From broken down cars on flight mornings, snapped vent lines, broken car keys, the list goes on. But dealing with stress and fatigue is a huge component of succeeding in ballooning competitions. It never goes as you planned. And nevertheless, we push through and uh, we managed to finish 10th in this competition. After taking some time to recover, and finding a spare week up our sleeves before the Junior World Championships commenced. We decided to take some time to explore the Czech countryside and look for some epic locations to fly on our way to Poland. this morning our first thing on the to-do list is to fly over Chesky Krumov which is in the south southwestern side of the Czech Republic it's a beautiful medieval city uh, and so hopefully with this weather it's a little bit iffy a bit touch and go but uh, if we can do it we can fly straight over this small little city but it's really beautiful with lots of beautiful things to see both mornings in Chesky Krumrov, but the ambition to get the balloon out, we pulled off a tether on the banks of the Vlatva River before heading north en route to the Tatara Mountains.
So on our journey up to the Junior World Championships in Vosbarbeck in Poland, we've stopped here in Slovakia. We're flying at the foothills of the Tatra Mountains. Um, it's so beautiful, the mountains are incredible. We're on the, the launch field here at the Junior World Championships. It's our flight number three and uh, we're getting ready for a windy afternoon flight. As the sun sets on our first major world competition, so does our road trip around Europe. To blow through the European continent with a hot air balloon has shed light on so much beauty and so many incredible moments for all of us. There's also been so many challenges that we've learned from and we've become better for. And now we're all very driven to come back and to discover new places and to succeed more in 